today is gonna be the day that I'm gonna get fucking sued. By now, I should have somehow realized that's what that fucking idiot's gonna do. Now, even anybody hates this fucking douchebag as much as I do about you now. I don't know how to make a video like this. I usually don't just sit down and do shit. That's not really my, my style, but five years on YouTube, hundreds of videos come and gone. I decided to take a short foray into commentary and, and two videos in. My channel striked. I can't fucking upload for a week. I have to go to copyright school, which is, you know, the most condescending thing any human being has ever said to me. And on top of that, from the looks of it, I might be being sued by a fucking vampire. So nine or ten days ago, I'm watching, uh, I think one of the Star Wars movies, you know, fucking beating it to R2-D2. And I get a fucking, uh, I get an email to my business email, which is rare because I keep that email private so that i can see what filters through it no reason in explaining this you fucking dipshit anyway the email says something about a copyright thing i thought that one of my videos just got claimed for using some music or some bullshit i open it up and it's a whole explanation on how i can't fucking upload to my channel it's i'm in bad standing i gotta go to copyright school susan wants a blowjob i got so i keep scrolling through all this bullshit in the email and i finally get to the bottom and i get the reason why i'm getting this email because my 30 minute video that i just spent a month making was being permanently struck from YouTube from a manual claimant. And I know that it's Jaden because when you fill out the manual claim shit, it has to say who's claiming it and on behalf of who. So it's Jaden Sprins claiming it on behalf of Jaden Sprins. So after I realized what was going on, I took a couple days to get some stuff in order and I sent in a counter notification, which is like a, a legal response to this copyright claim. When you send in a counter notification, the person who claims your video has 10 days to respond to it. They can respond anywhere within the 10 days, but if you reach the end of the 10 days, either your video gets reinstated and your copyright strike is removed, or if that doesn't happen, that means legally they have to be preparing a federal lawsuit against you. And I, and I think the biggest issue with that is like, can you imagine me in a courtroom? Because I can't, and I'm me. Also, I'm a 20K sub YouTube channel, and over the course of five years, I've made like 300 bucks, and our nocturnal plaintiff, fucking Jason Cringe, is living in a rented out mansion in the hills of fucking Arizona, overlooking some fucking city with a view. He's got one of those like pools that looks like they're floating because the walls are made of fucking glass. Him, his brother, and his sister order SpongeBob potions to their house off the dark web. We bought magic SpongeBob potions off the dark web. But it's not stupid, okay? Before we get into the video, make sure to bite that subscribe button with your fangs. You gotta <gasps> What's that? Whoa. Before we open this, you guys gotta like the video. Right like now. the video right now, or guess what? Guess what, SpongeBob, he's gonna come. Danger. Drinking SpongeBob's creamy cum does look kind of Do you know how much cash you need to have to get a vial of SpongeBob's creamy cum? So that's one issue. Another thing that's 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 bothering me is that this dude built a fucking shitty platform on TikTok off the back of fucking kids for a couple years and then comes over to YouTube because this YouTube shorts bullshit. In a couple months, amasses 2 million subs and then decides, with all that's going good for him right now, to shit on the only person that's ever fucking criticized him on YouTube. Someone who's been building a channel for five years and has seen nothing from it except the love to create and i just get i just get a steaming hot pile of fucking spongebob cum on my chest but there's more that came out of this than just an impending federal lawsuit and that's because Jaden reinvigorated me to you know take a, a deep little look into what the fuck he's doing online so basically as soon as this happened i took to twitter to see if i could uh, solve this issue myself the old-fashioned way Jaden has millions of followers on tiktok and a few million on youtube i know conversion rates off tiktok especially fucking suck but you gotta have some good followings on other platforms if that's how big you are right well Jaden has 500 followers on twitter and i have 2000 so i had a little bit of ground swell against him and said ah my very first fall strike i must really be a commentary channel now not only does Jaden sprints and i added him because i'm not a, a, a pussy uh, not only does Jaden sprints use the shorts algorithm to exploit children but he also uses the broken copyright system to strike down any and all of his critics team youtube want to defend fair use of course team youtube responded and said some shit like uh if you believe the video was taken down by mistake we don't fucking care, you stupid bitch. Anyway, I thought Jaden's response was either just going to be block me, never engage it, or, you know, I bait him and he starts getting in an argument with me and it would be very funny because he's stupid. But Jaden surprised me. When, when two roads diverge in a wood, Jaden Sprins takes the, the 
dirt path in the middle that's more, more sus than a character, character from Among Us. Us. Because Jane decided to block me, and then when my followers and, and friends and stuff tried to engage him, he decided to private his Twitter. And about an hour later, he unprivated his Twitter. He never unblocked me, but some people following what was going on were, you know, intrigued because the, the privating seemed fucking weird. And they went to go check his uh, Twitter afterwards. And what they found different when he unprivated was that he had over a hundred less tweets and went from 170 liked tweets to six. And the majority of his deleted tweets were actually him unretweeting stuff from fans tweeting at him. And that's really weird, right? To, to, to private your account for an hour to wipe most of your engagement with your underage audience and then to come back and unprivate it. Especially when at the end of my video when I'm coming to the culmination of my point and I'm talking about the most serious issues that I have with this kinds of kids content on TikTok and YouTube and wherever, because that point boils down to the importance and the integrity of content that kids are consuming and how it affects them, but also the lack of barrier between like the parasocial relationship of, of Jaden toward his fan base, you know, engaging uh, strange comments that are inappropriate for elementary school kids to be saying to a 20 something year old, him having a phone number and a private Snapchat and his, uh, all his descriptions and all this stuff. And if you think that's weird, when people started telling me about, you know, his less tweets and his unretweeted stuff and his less likes, I'm assuming he saw that because he permanently deleted his Twitter and it's almost two weeks later and it hasn't come back. So it's gone. It's not like ready to be reactivated. It's gone. That is fucking weird, right? I've prepared a little sketch to kind of summarize my feelings on that whole debacle. Hey son, you, you, you happen to know who started this fire right behind you? No. Okay. How come you had the matches in your hand and you put them by your side right when I asked that? No, I don't think I, I don't think I did though. I think, I think you just put them further behind your back, son. No thanks. I, I don't have any now, so I didn't have any ever, so probably not me. Son, you, you just threw the matches on the ground, though. I can, I see him, so. Okay, but if you're, like, actually accusing me of doing it, though, could you, like, give me a second, though, and don't look, please? Don't look. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. Okay, you can, you can look now, because there, there's nothing here, so. Good try. Well, firstly, son... I have object permanence, so, but secondly, if I didn't have object permanence, I literally see, still see matches at your feet, so, okay, well, I don't even care, so, I'm actually blocking you, stupid bitch, arrest me now. Uh, you do notice, though, you, you do notice, though, that, idiot. that everything, I know you I can, can hear me, you do notice, though, that everything that you've done block, since block, I accused block, you block, has idiot. made you more guilty. So after all that goes down, I, I start uh, paying more attention to Jaden again. And uh, I, I clicked on his channel stories, which is just like a Snapchat story for YouTube that they introduced a couple of years ago or something. And uh, two days ago on his channel story, he said, he said this. Haters hating on full force. No worries, though. The haters will never stop the fang gang. I wish them the best, though, and hope that everything for them is okay. I will endure all the hatred. If it means I can make people laugh, smile, and just brighten their day. Fang gang for life. So he posted that like a little less than a day before the strike came through on my channel. And then as I added him on Twitter, like almost, it was like a few minutes afterwards, he posted on his story and said his, his YouTube channel story. Also, make sure to check out my other social medias. He's like fucking dying in the trenches on Twitter, calling for backup on his 2 million sub YouTube channel. And like nothing changed until he deleted his account. Like he gained like two followers. Also a few days after this, he started doing live streams on his channel. Somebody asked him, what was one of your inspirations for starting TikTok and YouTube? And he immediately responds, one of my biggest inspiration for starting all this was Logan Paul. You know, I take so much from him and, and it's just like, how is that fucking possible, bro? He's like 20 fucking four years old and he unironically likes Logan Paul. So before I give myself brain damage, that's, that. Uh, I'm getting sued by a fucking 24 year old fake vampire that exploits kids on TikTok and YouTube and his biggest inspiration is Logan Paul. And he's, he's rich as fuck. He's growing ridiculously fast. And 
he comes onto a fucking platform and just starts pushing channels around that have been here for five years just trying to make fucking scraps so i don't know i just wanted to update you guys have this for future reference for myself let you know why the video is down or if you think i haven't uploaded in months there was a video a couple weeks ago and it's not there now so if this shit does end up going to fucking federal court I'm, i'll probably make another video or some update on twitter or something because uh I'm gonna need your help getting the word out there because I don't know if I can compete with all that fucking TikTok money. But anyway, thank you guys for caring, like always. I fucking love you guys. You're the best. Just to let you know, I'm heading to Alaska in a few days for about a week to start filming on a really big project that I'm undertaking. Video essay, you know, all that, the, the typical stuff that you'll usually find on this channel. I'm really excited for it. It's gonna be out there. It's new. It's 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 fresh. I don't know. I'm excited. I'm going there also to visit uh, Andrew and Courtney, who are some of my best friends on uh, that I've met on the internet and everything. So I'm super excited for that. Me and Andrew might do some some stuff there that I might upload. That could be fun. I'm working on kind of like a goofy throwaway compilation video of uh, a time me and Andrew were playing Halo 2 on Legendary that I kind of just want to throw up when I'm gone to fill space on the channel. And I just want to have fun with the channel from here on out. You know. Thanks for being patient. Thanks for sticking around. Like all always i mean i don't fucking deserve you guys for real peace and love i'll see you soon Mwah.